Hey guys, it's Brandy. How are you doing today? Um, you might have noticed that A, I'm not wearing any of my makeup that you typically see me wearing. And uh, I'm also wearing white. Well, if you saw my last video, this is the Days and Confused shirt that I got from Target. I love it. It's so comfy. <laughs> I felt compelled based on some recent events that I felt compelled to kind of come to you guys with some words of encouragement, um, some advice that none of you asked for. <laughs> but um, I feel like this is one of those things where maybe I can use my platform to help raise awareness, help you guys through whatever you're going through, and all that good stuff. Um, when you were in school, you probably had teachers, principals, guidance counselors, and the like um, asking you, what do you want to be when you grow up? What are your dreams? What do you want to do with your life? It, you can be anything you want. Chase your dreams, reach your goals, and you can conquer the world. You can do anything. I feel like once you get to a certain age, it's typically like middle high school-ish, like grade nine, grade 10, somewhere around there. Then everything changes. Everything changes from what do you want to be when you grow up? Dream big, live big. It changes into what college are you going to? What is going to be your major? What is your lifetime career going to be? Oh, that's not a realistic career. That's not a realistic goal. You need to think realistically. You need to have a backup plan. You need to uh, make sure you're going to the right college, otherwise you're never going to get a job. You need to make sure you're making the right life decisions or you're never going to get a job. And if you don't get a job, then you can't survive. You can't just live on your dreams. Bills don't get paid on dreams. Just because you had to push your dreams to the side to make way for reality doesn't mean you should give them up. Don't give up your dreams. From high school on, and even you know, and further into adulthood, you've basically buried all of your dreams. Some people have forgotten them completely. Others, you know, just know that they're not feasible. And without dreams, we're just stuck in this constant cycle of go to work go to work, pay your bills, go to work, pay your bills, go to work. We can't let that make us forget our dreams. Our dreams are, are still very much a part of us. I, my dreams have changed multiple times in my life and that's also okay. It's, it's the point in your life where you have no dreams, where things become way more difficult. Whatever your dream is, even if it's not going well, even if you don't see the success that you would expect after working at it and things like that. I want YouTube to be my career. Um, I want to be a successful uh, YouTube vlogger person. You know, I can't control that. Um, all I can do is put out like really good content and hope for the best. Um, but I feel like at a certain point when my camera died, my computer died, my, uh, you know, I had to file for bankruptcy, uh, my dad died, you know, all of these things happened and I let go of all of that and said, okay, well, YouTube's clearly not going to work for me. I'm not going to be able to do YouTube because I don't have the finances to dedicate to a beautiful camera with incredible quality and I don't have the lighting set up and I don't have the editing equipment and all of these things. I felt like if I didn't have those things, I was not going to be successful on YouTube. But at the end of the day, that's not the case. You know, where were the days where we would just sit in front of a, t a camera and just belt out what we're talking about, like what we're feeling, what we're thinking, we would just sit there in front of a really low quality webcam and talk about our feelings, talk about what we went through throughout the day, talk about what we're passionate about. And that was it. There was no lighting, 
there was no like backdrops <laughs> there was like it was all very much intimate you know it was just like me talking to my friends whether i'm successful on youtube or not i still enjoy doing youtube it's very much like okay i know the gabby show has this quote YouTube is my therapy. It kind of is, you know, I get to explain to you what I'm going through mentally and emotionally and, you know, I get feedback from my very loyal uh, subscribers who've been there since day one, so I cannot thank you guys enough for that. You know, um, I, I have some incredible people that watch my videos and I want to be there for you guys. And um, I'm going to stay here, you know, for my mental health. <laughs> um, but with all that being said, the, the reason for my video today is there's always going to be somebody out there who's trying to crush your dreams. There's always, what, whatever the dream may be, there's always going to be at least one person in this world that's going through their own horrible scenarios or they're just feeling bad about themselves or they haven't reached their goals, their dreams. And rather than using that constructively and trying to, you know, get where they want to be, they're going to try to tear us down. They want to tear others down because they feel that's the only way they're going to feel good about themselves is if somebody's in misery with them. Misery loves company. That is a very true statement and it has rung true thousands of times in my life. There was a girl I used to work with. Um, I won't say like what company or anything like that, but she did everything in her power to get me fired. Everything. In fact, I heard she had done everything she could to get me not hired. So during the interview process, she actually told the team that she didn't think I was going to work out based on the way I was dressed. She said it would bring down the look of the team. I was in business you know, attire and cleaned up real nice and, um, you know, I, I basically, you know, I thought I was a good candidate for the position and so did the entire team. The uh, hiring manager, the director, he wanted to hire me, everyone wanted to hire me, but this girl literally said, I think she's going to take bring down the look of the team, I don't think she'd be a good fit, I don't know what else was said. Luckily, she was the only one who felt that way, and so majority ruled, I got the job. Now, I didn't know this, you know, up until about when she was about to leave, so it wasn't like I knew that she was out to get me. Of course, you know, now I've got the job, and um, I'm on a temporary position, so basically I work uh, under a, a different company, um, but I'm in that building, if that makes any sense, on a temporary basis until I've proven myself um, and as a valuable asset to the team. Everything was going good as far as I knew. Uh, I didn't see any kind of issues or anything like that. And then I started uh, getting wind of some things like they're stalking my YouTube channel, they're stalking my uh, personal Facebook page, they were stalking my Instagram, um, trying to find things that I was doing that violated some kind of policy in an effort to prevent me from getting the permanent position. So I was basically like kindly told like, hey, just be on the lookout, just try to stay on your P's and Q's, don't, you know, do anything crazy or outlandish and, you know, that way there's nothing for her to use against you. Then lo and behold, my boss was like, you have done it, you know, you're great, we want to convert you over to full time, um, you're in a permanent position now, congrats, you know, you're a great asset to the team, and I was like, ah, you know, felt great, awesome. This person then quit. <laughs> they got another job, so hopefully uh, she's happy where she is, but I never got the answer to why you know like what did I do to make her feel that I shouldn't have been hired to begin with and that I should have been let go you know like she really did not want me to have this job and I still to this day have no idea why and I'm probably never going to get that answer and that is okay <laughs> that's the thing like we cannot harp on 
on the details like, why? Why would they want to do that? Some people literally just want to ruin other people's lives. That's it. There's no like ins and outs. They may just, she just might not have liked the color of my hair one day and decided, ah, I'm going to take her down. Gives her a sense of power, gives her a sense of strength, a sense of control. And maybe that's all it is. But, you know, there's no reason to find out the why, because I know in my heart of hearts that I've done absolutely nothing wrong. So my, my big takeaway from this is there's always going to be somebody out there trying to ruin your dreams, trying to take you down. You have it in yourself to move past that and rise above. You know, trying to fight and like defend yourself and trying to like, you know, trying to find out the why and you know, all, it's not gonna get you past that hurdle. All you can do is stay focused and work toward your next goal. Keep your head up and remember to believe in yourself because I hate to say it, but no matter how many support systems you have, you could have hundreds of girlfriends, you could have the greatest boyfriend, you could have the greatest girlfriend, you could have a great wife. No one, and I mean no one, will support you as much as you support yourself. Because only you know everything there is to know about you and what you're capable of. Everyone else on this earth has to be shown what you're capable of. You have to prove it to them that you know deep down what you are capable of. So don't let anybody get in your way. It is great to have a support system, but at the end of the day, you've got to believe in yourself. And that's really hard for some people to do. And I'm not saying it's an easy task. It took a lot of soul searching for me to believe in myself. I was an ugly duckling in school, I was poor, I had the world against me, but I made it. I made it through. And I'm here today living, breathing, doing what I love to do. I'm not going to be able to quit my job and do YouTube full time anytime soon. I know that. But as long as I continue to turn on this camera and vent to you guys how I'm feeling, show you how I did my makeup, show you cool adventures that I went on, whatever stupid thing it is, in a way of connecting with the outside world, connecting with you guys. You know, you could be in a completely different country and you're watching me right now. Like, that's amazing. We couldn't do this 20 years ago. So as long as I am here, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna give it my all. I might not have the best camera quality. I might not have the best setup. I might not have, you know, sponsorships and PR. I might not have any PR. Uh, I'm not getting monetized because YouTube said small channels suck and we hate you. They didn't say it like that, but pretty much. <laughs> this is what I want to do. I want to do YouTube. It's so interactive and I love it. And I love you guys. You guys have been there since the beginning and I cannot thank you enough. You're amazing. So yes, while I'm still breathing, I'm gonna have a YouTube channel and I'm gonna give it all. <laughs> this is what you're getting. It is the raw, real me. I'm not going to ever, no matter if I get successful or not, I am never going to hide my true self from you guys. And I'm in my 30s and I'm a mom and like, I don't have time for, <laughs> for hiding and being this like like caricature of what you guys want me to be. This is me. This is just who I am. So I want you guys to remember that no matter what, you are amazing. You have it in yourself to do whatever you want to do in this life. There's no time limit. There's no time limit. My mom always wanted a tattoo. She got her first tattoo at 55. She's got, she's planning up another one now and she's, you know, in her 60s. So like, <sighs> there is no time limit to these goals. Don't get so down and out and give up. And 
it's not realistic and I feel silly and I feel foolish and I feel I'm too old for this I just those thoughts come from a dark place and you have to remember they are fleeting they're kind of like Freddy Krueger if you don't give him power he just kind of disappears if you don't give those thoughts power they disappear fake it until you make it for real <laughs> like I hated myself for so long I didn't get prettier I didn't get thinner I just started to pretend like I was the shit I was amazing I I am the best thing there is the best thing there was best thing there ever will be I'm not <laughs> <laughs> like, I know that, but I believed in it long enough, it turned everything around. There are very high expectations on us as human beings to be perfect in the eyes of society, but you mold what perfect is for you. Perfect to me is not perfect to you. I'm not a good person by a lot of people's standards but I know I'm a good person so I know long ramble <laughs> but it felt like it needed to be said I am tired of all these people on the internet trying to ruin other people's dreams trying to pull people down it's not gonna work anymore I'm not gonna let it and I have the ability to stop them in their tracks and I always will, and I will always rise above. If you guys ever need a hand with anything, if you just need some advice on what you should do about a situation, totally let me know. Just hit me up on any of the social media that you prefer. Uh, I'm here for you. And don't forget, like I always say, you are amazing, you are gorgeous, and if anyone tells you anything different, they can suck it.